In this video, we will install the developer tools for Hello System and compile Filer, the file manager, in Hello System. So this is a fresh installation of Hello System. As we can see, I'm running it on a relatively moderate system with just 4 GB of RAM and an i3 CPU showing here. Now, if we want to use this as a developer machine, we need to install the developer tools, which includes compilers and all kinds of other tools that are required for developers. To do that, go to the same download page where you downloaded the ISO file from. And it's actually important that you use the matching developer file that belongs to the same release, the same build ideally uh, of the ISO. So here I'm downloading it. Normally most of the files that are contained in the developer image are part of the FreeBSD install, but a regular user will never see them, so I factored them out. Once the download is complete, you will find the developer image at the place where you downloaded it. I put mine on the desktop, just double click it. It will mount the disk image, so here we have a new disk called developer appearing, double click that, double click install developer tools, and just follow the on-screen instructions to install the developer tools on your developer machine. This doesn't take long and once the installation is complete, you should have in your system menu a new menu item developer. From there, you should be able to install Qt Creator. Now I say should because actually I ran into a bug here. Uh, again, very stupid mistake I make made and I hope I can fix this beco uh, before you even see it. By killing all running PKG processes. Yeah, it looks like now it's working. So the installation of Qt Creator should now proceed as intended. Once the installation of Qt Creator is complete, it should automatically launch itself. Now we have to check out something from the Hello System repository, for example, Filer. So for that, I go to the terminal and git clone the Filer repository. Once Filer is cloned, I go back to Qt Creator, click on Projects, click on Open, and select the CMake file inside the project. Click on Configure Project, and it should configure the project, but here we are running into an issue because some dependency is missing. By looking at the output, we see what needs to be installed. pkg config is missing, so let's install that using the pkg install command. And with that installed, let's try to compile again. Right click on the project and select configure project that runs CMake again, and we get another missing dependency, which is what I'm installing right now. Do the same thing again, right click the project, run the CMake configuration. This time it succeeds, and now we can start building.
by clicking the green triangle icon. Now Filer is being compiled. The first compilation can take a while, but this will be significantly faster on the subsequent builds. Once compilation is complete, there is an error about some translation file which we can safely ignore. But what we do now is kill the filer that is currently running by going to the desktop, pressing Control, Alt and Escape and clicking somewhere on the desktop which kills filer. If we then press the green arrow again in Qt Creator, Filer should run.